Hello guys, today we are going to paint maple leaf with oil paint. First we are going to paint the background. For this painting, I am going to paint a blurry background or what's called a bokeh background. You can see how I'm using different shades of green, a little bit of white and just blending them. Let me know in the comments if you want a complete tutorial on how to paint a bouquet background. Now for the leaf. The first step is putting down a foundational layer of a bunch of different colors across the surface of a leaf. This is just gonna be your bottom layer and we are gonna keep adding and layering other colors on top. So don't worry, you are not going to mess up. Something that I like to do is start with my lighter colors and I really like to think about where my light source would be hitting on my leaf shape. In this case. The light source is behind the subject. Feel free to pull up some reference photos on Pinterest while you do this and it really applies to anything that you're painting, not just a leaf. Anything that you're painting, having a reference photo can be incredibly helpful. Not only with how light interacts with the shape, but it also gives you inspiration for your color palette. Back to the page here. I'm just continuing to add in multiple greens and yellows at various spots across our leaf and just blending them. And again, you don't have to overthink this, just go with your cut. Just keep doing that until you are satisfied with the finished result and all of the white spaces on your leaf surface has been covered. I'm just gonna go over some of my transition areas between my colors and I'm using very light pressure and orbital strokes to soften those areas just a bit. I kind of like these more yellow tones so I'm just gonna layer in some additional ones. Again I know I talked about this earlier but again it's just a really great reason to use a reference. So you can see all the different color tones that are on a leaf. You know they are not all just green, there's bronze, orange, yellows and reds. And adding color variations will definitely help to sell that realistic look that you are trying to achieve. Now we are going to begin the process of adding in our texture. And with leaves, texture usually means waning. So I am going to begin adding in some with dark green color. In this case, the light source is behind the leaf, so the veins will appear darker in color. Now we are going to take the same green and place it down on either side of our edges around our different sections. What we are doing here is we are stimulating the shadows that a curvature would create in between the crevice areas. And you'll notice that as I do this, it gives an immediate 3D effect, it makes such a big difference. Shading is a quick and easy way to make your objects more realistic and kind of give some shape and weight to them. Now what we are going to do is create a little bit more dimension. So I'm just going to take some white and yellow and I'm just going to add a little bit of that on the tips. And you can highlight some areas and wherever you add it, it doesn't matter. Just make it fun and playful because that is what painting is all about. Just having a lot of fun. And when you're happy with it, go ahead and sign your work. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below.